Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Neve, and in today's video I am going to be doing my now annual, I guess, uh, Lush Boxing Day Sale haul. Now, <laughs> last year, my video about this, I went a little bit crazy and bought a lot of things. So this year I was a lot more self-restrained because last year I changed my buying habits to not just be crazy, buy everything I like, I need it, I want it, get it. But somehow I still ended up buying bath bombs when the reality is I don't really take baths. <laughs> there are certain times in my life where I do take a lot of baths, but like if that's not happening, then I won't be taking baths. So yes, the bath bombs are nice, they smell good, there was a good sale happening, but I don't actually need nor really use them. So this year I cut back a lot. I literally only bought four things. So I thought I would show you what I got this year and then review some of the things I got last year just to make it a more informative, I guess, video. So let's take a look at what I bought this year. In this Tupperware, I literally, I bring this to Lush because if you don't have a container, you only have the option to put it in those little paper bags. And these naked shower gels just with paper, it does not work. So I always just bring my own Tupperware and put them in here. And my sister was really judging me about it, but they had no issue with it. They were like, oh, you brought your own Tupperware. And I was like, yes. And I got two naked shower gels, which I'm not sure I can pick them up. I'll try pick them up by the cap. This one is the beloved Snow Fairy scent, which in most products, I don't like it. I think it's too strong, but in the naked shower gel, I think it works quite well because it's a lot more subtle. Oh, and if you don't know, Snow Fairy is like a bubblegum, very sweet, yeah, it's kind of all bubblegum and sweet sugar scent, candy floss maybe. And the naked shower gels, basically you use them like you would a bar of soap, except they're, I don't think they're antibacterial, they're just shower gels. So you can either rub the whole thing directly on your wet body, or you can just take a wet hand and rub this and then rub your body, or put some with a loofah, like scrub a loofah on it and then put it on. And the other one I got was this gold specimen, which is the Yognog scent, which last year I bought a bat melt. I bought something in the Yognog scent and it was pretty good. So I was very excited they chose it to be this year's festive flavor. And look, it's so pretty in gold. So I'm wondering if it's gonna leave shimmer on my body. Maybe, I don't mind if it does. Oh, I didn't say, Yognog is like a caramel toffee scent. It's sweet, but not sickly. It's more rich, I guess. Just think caramel, you know. According to my receipt, so the Snow Fairy one was 550, originally 11 euro, but the Yognog was more expensive. It's originally, 1450 and it was on sale for 725. 725 and 550 I don't think are bad. I don't fully know how long one of those shower gels lasts. No, it definitely lasts like at least three months. But this year, today's the 31st of December. Starting the first, I'm only gonna use these. I'll start with one then use the other. If I go away, I'm bringing a chunk anywhere I go. I'm only using these, no shower gels, so I can truly see how long they last and if two will last the whole year, which I'll let you know in next year's haul. So that was those. The next thing I got, which I did plan to buy, were some toothy tabs. These, I think this was the only flavor on sale. The dirty toothy tabs are loaded with cooling, spearmint, and feel good neroli oils for superbly herby freshness on the go. And if you don't know how you use these is you just take a tab, put it in your mouth, bite it, wet your toothbrush, and then brush your teeth as normal. And the reason I got these, I don't use these every day, but when I travel, I think they're really good because they take up so much less space because you can just take the tabs out and put them somewhere else. So I wanted to get some of these because I'm running low on the ones I already have. It says this bottle is made from 100% recycled plastic. Whenever Lush posts these on their Instagram, people always ask or suggest they should be put in a reusable container, which I agree because, you know, every little helps. But yes, I have not tried these yet, so I don't know how offensive the flavor is because the ones I've tried before are quite offensive. So we'll see how those go. The toothy tabs were 450, originally nine euro. No way would I ever pay 9 euro for this. I just think that's way too expensive. There's approximately 100 tabs in it. So sometimes, well, most of the time, because the flavor is so strong, I normally just use half. So in a day, I could use one, you know, morning and night. So it would last 100 days, which is just over three months, which I think 9 euro for three months, three euro on two pace per month isn't actually too bad. I think 450 is okay, but nine, I don't know about all that. 
And the last thing I got is something I've never actually tried before and it is the Jersey Bounce Shampoo Pot, I guess. I've used the Lush Naked shampoos, but never any normal shampoos. These are originally 20 euro for this pot and it is 300 grams. It was on sale for 10 euro. I thought I'd try because my look with solid shampoo bars is going downhill. I want to try to get rid of all plastic in my routine, but sometimes, like I really tried with the solid shampoos. I think the Lush ones were okay but it took a while to adjust. And then I ran out and I found this cheaper alternative online and it was absolutely awful. I tried for so long, so many ways. My hair just always looked disgusting. So here's me somewhat trying again. I thought this shampoo would be slightly better than traditional plastic shampoo since it's part of Lush's campaign where if you bring back five empty pots, they will recycle them and give you a free face mask. And I also thought this would be good since it's a pot, you could literally scoop every single last drop of the shampoo out now. To be honest, I couldn't tell you if they actually recycle it. For all I know, they could take the pots, throw them in a skip somewhere, and that could be the end of it. But I'm optimistic and hopeful that they do actually recycle them. Because I was thinking about it, and if you put a shampoo bottle in the recycling bin, does it actually get recycled since there's probably still bits of shampoo in it, so they're like, not clean, refuse? Because aren't they super fussy? But anyway, yada yada, besides the point. This has a lot of scents going on. I was trying to determine, because it says on top, plumping sea salt, moisturizing honey, and fresh new citrus sound. And then here it says, packed with linseed, salt, and juice. And then on the back it says, coarse and fine sea salt. And also, aquafaba, fair trade olive oil. So there's a lot happening. I was really impressed that it has aquafaba, because that's the juice of chickpeas. I honestly think this smells really good. To me, it smells kind of like when I made these vegan lemon bars. It really smells like that. It smells like a tiny bit lemon, but then there's a stronger scent of like... Slightly banana-y, like... My nose is getting in it. I do think what the scents I've called out, it does pretty much smell like that. I'm also going to see how long this lasts based on number of washes. Since buying this, I have used it twice and honestly, I really like how it's working with my hair. Unfortunately though, as many people complain about the Lush solid shampoos, it does contain SLS, sodium laurate sulfate. That's how you pronounce it. Sodium laurate, 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 sulfate, which people have issues with. And I was Googling to try to see what is actually so bad about it. And it is the chemical I guess used to make things ladder up and form a foam. And from what I can gather, I think takes away some of your essential oils and apparently I think it strips color from dyed hair. I don't dye my hair so I'm not really concerned about that but obviously stripping the essential oils wouldn't be the best. Though pretty much every shampoo I looked at in my bathroom that other people use have SLS so I don't think it's dangerous it's just not the best thing to be using I believe. So anyway this was that. Tenure 300 grams. Really nice smell. So now I'm gonna give a quick little review of some of the things I got in last year's Boxing Day sale. Whenever I say that, I have to think about it because we say Stephen's Day, so I was like, Boxing Day sale, yeah. Anyway, that's totally random. Last year, I got this Governor deodorant powder that I was very intrigued about. And I must say, I'm enjoying it. It was not on sale this year, so I could not repurchase it. I mean, I could have for full price, but no thanks. So this, basically, right. I talked more about this in last year's video and actually described it, so if you're interested, you can watch that. But I've used this quite a few times. I won't say loads, but I have used it quite a bit. And it still looks like super full. So I think this will last a long time, so it might be worth the full price. But I'm not sure what full price is. Let me have a look. Okay, full price last year was 10.96. The first time I used this, I hated it. I thought it was terrible because I used it and like went out somewhere and then I came home. And I was like, right, my armpits just smell as if I didn't put deodorant on. So like not bad, but just like they're doing their natural sweating. So they just smell sweaty. But then I used it a few more times and I was like, wow, it's actually working. Cause I would put it on and cycle into town and I'd be going to the gym. So if they did smell, it wouldn't matter cause I'd be having a shower in anyways. And I would smell and there was just like no smell at all. Like there wasn't a smell of this. There wasn't a smell of sweat. There was just no smell. So I was like, oh my God, maybe it does work. So now I use it quite a bit. I will say, I don't think it lasts incredibly long. And if you were in heat, it probably lasts even less. But I do think it does just kind of take away any scent. So there's just no scent under your armpit, which is pretty impressive. So I do really like this and I will definitely continue using it. 
so this was good i would recommend next thing i bought last year that i repurchased this year was the limelight toothy tabs now mine looks super full because um it is and it's got hair on it i also have the what are they called charcoal i don't know what they're actually called but boom i think they're boom toothy tabs they're like charcoal and cola and i use them more because i'm like ooh, charcoal whitening but then apparently charcoal is now dangerous for your teeth so but anyway so i've used these these i think taste better than the charcoal ones and there's not really an aftertaste so basically i like both of these things even though they are in plastic which is unfortunate it says it's recyclable and the last two things i bought last year that i'm gonna review are two naked things and they are the Roe Argan, I think that's what it was called, body conditioner, which doesn't look like I've used it, but I have taken this chunk out of it. And it got stained from my Cinder's naked shower gel because they were in the same container. And the little pot of energy, I think this is called, solid body lotion, which again, I cut the chunk off. I'll start with this. This you put on in the shower, like shower gel, but it's supposed to be more moisturizing. And it has glitter in it. This was $8.25, $16.50 full price. I would not pay $16.50. $8.25, meh, but I wouldn't buy again because my beef with this, it feels like I need to get my arm and like do it so many times and then it finally lathers a tiny bit and then I can rub it in. I do think the glitter effect is nice. It looks nice afterwards. However, it just feels so abrasive to put on. And then once it's on and washed off, it feels like there's still kind of a residue and I need to rinse a couple more times, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't know if that was me doing something wrong. But yeah, I wouldn't buy this again, but I do like the scent and the glitter effect, so obviously I will finish using this, probably for the rest of my freaking life, but I would not buy it again. Now this Naked Body Lotion. This was $7.47. I love the smell of it, and I do think it doesn't super quickly melt to the body temperature, but it's nowhere near as bad as the body conditioner. However, I do think it's kind of a greasy feel. Like I rub it and then when I rub it in my hand, there's like definitely grease on my hand and it feels way more greasy than it is like moisturizing. So again, I would not buy this again. I don't really use it because I don't like the greasy feel, but I definitely will use it up. But yeah, if you're thinking about buying this, it's greasy in my opinion. But okay, and the last thing I wanted to mention in this video were prices. <laughs> so I noticed this year compared to the things I bought last year, prices had increased which is interesting and both years the snow fairy naked shower gel was cheaper than whatever the other scent was but after making some notes i can report to you the toothy tabs last year were 750 this year they're nine euro which in my opinion that's no 25 cent increase that is quite a big increase and it's still it is the same thing like it like nothing has changed about it other than the price like approx 100 tabs approx 100 tabs you're not getting any more product they've just decided to whack the price up so obviously this was now 450 instead of 375 which that doesn't seem like a crazy difference but 9 euro versus 750 interesting conspiracy also the shower gel last year <laughs> snow fairy full price was 10.95 which, mm, so i got it for 5.47 however this year snow fairy was 11 euro which is only a five cent increase so that's not that bad so it was 5.15 instead of 5.47 you know three cents which isn't bad but it is going up however the other naked shower gel last year the flavor was cinders which i'm not sure they definitely i don't think they brought it back in naked shower gel i'm not sure about other items that was $11.95, $5.97 sale price, which is like the special festive flavor. However, this year the special flavor Yognog is $14.50 originally, so I got it for $7.25, which I don't know. It's interesting to think about those increases when the actual product isn't changing, it's not getting bigger, it's not, nothing has changed except for the price, which I know people say inflation, blah, blah, blah. But you know, people notice these things. Anyway, that's just me ranting and being annoying <laughs> and noticing small things. So yeah, that is everything I got in the Lush Boxing Day sale haul. Ooh, I wanted to mention, the Lush sale, I'm pretty sure, according to the website, lasts until the 7th or the 8th of December. I will double check that right now. Oh, I was wrong. The sale will begin the 26th of December, as we all know, and will finish in the UK and Ireland on the 12th or when stocks run out. You actually have until the 12th, so you have 
almost two weeks to go pick up anything you like. So if you're not home right now or don't have a chance to go right now, you still have time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video.